Hi everybody. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, I hope everybody had a wonderful and safe uh, 4th of July weekend. Um, it was a, a beautiful day. Um, we, uh, we spent some time with some family and some friends um, down in the Willoughby area um, and did a big uh, family cookout and, and everything like that. It was really a, a good time. Um, it was beautiful out. There was a full moon. Um, you could see uh, people um, shooting off fireworks. Uh, so uh, even though um, a lot of the 4th of July um, uh, celebration got canceled because of uh, COVID, um, uh, people still participated in it, which was, uh, which, which was good. Um, uh, so I just wanted to give everybody some updates on some things that are going on. Um, I did decide to do another YouTube channel, um, kind of uh, based on some things that are going on in my life. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly of, uh, of things for a middle-aged woman to go through. Um, so if you're interested um, and want to check out some video, I did post a few of them already. Uh, and I'll be posting some more um, periodically, you know. Um, these, uh, these YouTube channels are basically for entertainment purposes only. Um, it is for something for me to do, to occupy my mind, to kind of get... Um, the, for people to understand a little bit what's going on uh, in my life. Um, also, it might help out somebody else that's going through something similar to me to let you guys know that you are not alone, um, that if I can get through it, uh, you can too. So, uh, so if you're interested, uh, the YouTube channel um, my, is um, uh, SLPG70, SLPG70. Um, so if you're interested, please uh, check it out. Um, uh, like, subscribe, um, and comment, please. Uh, just make sure that uh, anything that you do, any kind of comments, please you know make sure that they are um, courteous. Not, you know, I don't want anything vulgar or distasteful on these uh, on my uh, YouTube channel um, or anything like that. Uh, this is for fun. This is for entertainment. Um, uh, for people to understand uh, a little bit what's going on. Also, I have another YouTube channel. Um, it's more on uh, paranormal uh, ghost and um, hunting that I do. Uh, ghost investigations, I should say. I'm not really a ghost hunter. I'm more into uh, in investigating. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, my YouTube channel for that is Paranormal Shenanin. Um, so if you uh, look, up, look that up on YouTube, uh, subscribe like comment i have a few videos of there that i think uh, people will enjoy i do have some uh, videos that have some uh, evidence of some paranormal activity uh, that i think you might uh, find very interesting on um, so um, what i like to talk about today is um, uh, yesterday i went ahead and updated my resume uh, for some of you that uh, don't know or haven't seen my other previous videos um, I was uh, laid off um, from the company that I was working for. Uh, so basically I have to start all over again. Uh, so I had to find my old resume uh, and do some tweaking. Uh, it's been a little over six years since I've had to um, search for an employment. So uh, it's, it's a little bit uh, uh, tasting, you know, it's a little bit um, frustrating. Um, so some advice that I like to give everybody is um, please keep uh, all your information uh, updated and current. Keep them in a location to where you can find them easily. Uh, keep them in a file or keep them on a PDF on your computer uh, so you can pull them up, update, um, and that way you're not searching through um, boxes of paperwork trying to find it like I had to do. Um, I think it was because I never thought that I would be um, unemployed. Um, I was hoping that I was going to be able to retire with this company, so I didn't even really think about it uh, too much. Um, so I had some help. Uh, I asked my sister to come and help me uh, tweak my resume. And the reason is, is because a resume is basically promoting yourself. Um, basically, you are trying to let future uh uh, a future employer know your worth um, and that's kind of hard for me I'm not someone who um, likes to brag about myself very much I 
I'm kind of a little bit more, um, you know, um, I, I don't know really what the right wording is. And that's the reason, too, is that I asked my sister to help, is to find some of the right words to describe the things that I did um, for the company that I was working for. Um, because I know, in, in my opinion, I did, you know, I, I do a lot of work. I do a lot of hard work, um, but actually trying to promote myself to let a future employer know, hey, this person uh, is going to bring some value um, to my company. Um, so I asked her for some help. Uh, I also recommend that you keep any of your certificates of certified, uh, anything that you um, get certified for, anything. Uh, that your job um, uh, requires you to get um, any type of license for certification, anything like that, keep those um, because later on you need to add those to your resume um, because it also boosts up um, of the value of your worth of, of being an employee. Um, so that's also very important to do too. So I was running around trying to find uh, some of the uh, certificates of me being a um, hazmat certified for UPS uh, shipping, uh, things like that. Um, so it was very frustrating. So my advice is um, uh, keep information together uh, for any type of updating because you never know when a situation is going to come up and you're going to find yourself in the same situation as me. Um, also today, uh, for the very first time in my life, I had to file for unemployment. Um, now, I'm not going to assume that I'm going to get unemployment. I'm hoping that because um, that I was laid off uh, because of uh, COVID um, that I will get it, um, but I'm not going to um, count on it, basically. You never count on, on uh, that type of stuff because you just never know uh, if you're going to be denied or qualified, so make sure that you uh, follow in other areas. Um, I didn't hesitate. I reached out to friends uh, and family members asking anybody that if, um, if they knew, knew any places that were, uh, were hiring or, um, or anyone that would uh, hand out my resume to their employers. And I had a couple of friends that said yes, absolutely. So I didn't waste any time. As soon as I got done tweaking it, I emailed it. Um, I did get um, a couple of responses uh, I'm pretty excited about. So hopefully I won't be unemployed for very long. Um, hopefully I will find something um, that will um, be better for me um, than what I had before. Something that will be a little bit more challenging. Uh, something that I can learn some more skills um, and give, uh, give a different opportunities to. So um, so I'm a little bit excited about that. I'm also nervous because uh, anytime that you have to get interviewed, <laughs> um, it is a, it, you can get a little nerve. You know, you can be a little nervous about it because um, you don't you you want to come off as um, educated and mature and confident and things like that. So you have to really um, try not to uh, when you're in the interview try not to get anyone to think that you're not um, a confident person. So sometimes it is a little bit, um, uh, gets you a little anxious a little bit. So uh, I always, what I try to do before I go through an interview, I try to do like a practice interview and have people ask me questions, uh, things like that, um, to kind of get me a little bit more comfortable. Um, now some of these interviews now, instead of being face to face with people because of the whole COVID thing, and the social distancing thing, they're asking for uh, virtual uh, interviews or phone interviews. Um, so I've never really had a virtual interview before, so I'm a little bit nervous on that. Um, the one thing that is uh, I'm a little nervous about is like if I set up my tripod and it falls over, how embarrassing will that be? Or by accident I lose Wi-Fi or something like that and get you know cut off. Uh, so I'm kind of like, oh, a little anxious on that. So hopefully everything will go smoothly <clears throat> on those interviews. Um, also, I have had a phone interview before, uh, which uh, wasn't uh, that hard at all. Uh, so actually, sometimes phone interviews are a little bit easier um, because uh, you don't get that nervous feeling. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully things will go a little bit smoother uh, and everything. So I'm a, I'm a little excited, a little nervous. Um, but overall, I, I think 
I'm not as depressed as I was. I feel a little bit like, okay, I can breathe. You know, I do have some income still coming in, so I'm not broke. Um, I have an opportunity that even if I don't get a, a job really soon, I'm probably I might have the opportunity for unemployment, so I'll still have some kind of uh, income coming in. Um, so I'm not as depressed as I was uh, the other day when I made the interview. I'm a little bit more uh, positive and and knowing that sometimes when uh, you know when a door closes, uh, God opens up a window. Uh, I am a firm believer in that. Uh, sometimes um, what's what's best for us sometimes you know we have to struggle a little bit uh, to find what's better for us uh, down the road so I'm a little excited a little nervous um, and I'll keep everybody updated um, but my like I said my advice to everybody is make sure that you have your resume your sort your any type of certificates uh, certifications uh, even letters of uh, praise or anything like that, uh, keep those together in a file uh, in your office or on a PDF. So if something happens, uh, you can just bring it out, update it, you know, quickly and uh, and get started on, on finding uh, employment. So I hope everybody enjoys uh, this video. Uh, remember, if you're interested, um, please... Um, go to either Paranormal Shenanan, uh, if you like more of the ghost hunting, ghost adventures uh, uh, type of uh, things, or go to um, SLPG70 uh, for more of basically what happens on uh, my life on a daily, daily basis. All right, everybody, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I need to get some groceries in my house. I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I will talk with everybody later. Bye.